Good evening, folks. Welcome to Yes, Can You Believe It? Episode Ten. We are. I am. We are minute, minutes to midnight in my area. Almost midnight over here. I am joined by my cat Mo here in the studio, deciding to keep me company. I've haven't. I didn't know what topic to choose. There's so much to talk about. And episode 10 is, it's usually, it's a big deal. You know, reaching to that 10 episode mark. How are you folks tonight? I hope you're relaxing, having your coffee, or whatever is your favorite beverage before bed or during bed. And, you know, as you could see in this, as this really breathtaking f- photo I found, it covers two topics in one, ghosts and aliens. Because, like, I mean, talk about a two-in-one, right? Aliens in a cemetery. It was very fascinating and perfect, and and, it was, and also one of their crafts in the sky, as you can see, that triangle or shape of three lights. So what would you do? If, like me, because I also go on, and I got me thinking, what would I do? And what would you do, is the question. If you were ghost hunting and you come across aliens, something you didn't expect, but something you wanted to always see. You know, and, um, probably both able to time travel, which is one of my favorite topics. And, um, if I see that people are kind of like enjoying the podcast of all the views I've gotten, and I must keep this going. I kind of had podcast block. I didn't know what to talk about. I couldn't choose a topic. So this will be multiple topics. You know, how many of you out there are meat lovers? How many are vegans? Let's pick two people of those two lifestyles and see which one lives longer. Because a lot of people say that the original plan wasn't meat. That was just the idea of a desperate caveman who had no patience, whatever. And, you know, in them days, I I believe there wasn't many plants around. So he had no choice. But that's not how it was supposed to be. I mean, as an example... An ox, look how strong they are, and they have nothing, and they have almost nothing but grass. You see? Now, if you were a vegan, you could still be strong. You don't need that meat sitting in your stomach, building cholesterol, and rotting away in your gut, becoming harmful. And, you know, when it's not made right, meat is full of worms. You want that in your system? But anyways, to each their own. You know, it, that's not one of the main topics tonight. But I heard something that brings up another topic. And you probably won't believe me, but this is that type of podcast. And we will talk about it. Zombies. You know, I don't know. It's disgusting, but people like reindeer meat. And they say there's this, some zombie thing that happens if you don't cook it right. They say if you don't cook reindeer meat right, it it messes with your brain. It makes you go, what, insane or something? I don't know. If you eat reindeer meat and you don't cook it right. And I hope that doesn't happen to people. But anyways, a lot of people are interested in the show. One person in particular... That person knows who they are. Thank you for being so interested in this. And uh, wonderful person, wonderful fan. And I'm thinking about doing this a little, a little bit longer tonight. Just a few minutes longer. I hope that's okay with you. It is episode 10. And... We will be right back. And we are back, folks. So 
So what do you think of all this? Reindeer meat not cooked right messes with your brain. It's some sort of thing they call zombie something. It's a good thing I avoid that stuff. So is everybody feeling safe at night? I hope you're I hope you're staying home if you can. Please, for your health, for everybody's sake, work from home. And if you must go out, if only if it's absolutely necessary, mask up, you know, wash your hands, don't touch your face. Shades cares about you. You know the deal. So yeah, would you... We just got off our ghost train experience episode, and what'd you think of that? It's fascinating how much a lot of this stuff happens to a lot of people, and most just laugh, but if you know the truth, don't worry about it, okay? I mean, everybody laughs until it happens to them, and they'll know what it feels like when people don't start to believe them. Anyways, yeah, so, this tonight's topic was like, you know, was like aliens, ghosts, vegans. I hope you're enjoying yourselves, and we shall continue on with a new episode soon. And let's keep going for a few more minutes. You know, I remember as a kid in a beach house when I was still able to hang with, you know, with my dad's mom, both who I haven't seen in a really long time. But anyway, I got woken up. It was this house kind of on the beach. And, uh, and I heard a noise. I got out of my bed. All I remember is something putting its hands up in a monster-like pose. Red eyes, really furry. But, you know, obviously when I was a kid, who was going to believe you? And Grandma, all Grandma could say is, oh, you could write a book. You got quite the imagination. I knew I was always on my own with everything. I didn't know if it was spiritual or an alien type dream, but it was realistic. You know how you get lifted off your bed? Well, after that, I can't help but explain it. It must have been heaven. There was doors in the sky, triangular at the top, golden handles on the clouds. I put my ear to the door. I hear music. I go for the handle. And I get a shock or something, well not from the door, but I feel like, a, like I'm pushed back to earth and I wake up. I guess, I, I was guess it wasn't my time to go in yet. I don't know. But it happened. And, and isn't it ironic, like the thing about ghosts, heaven and aliens, is when you see this light and you're hovering into it, you don't exactly know which one it is, do you? It's all the same, they all use the same procedure, a light you get pulled into, whether it's heaven, aliens, or something spiritual. Isn't that fascinating? Have you ever seen the white light? Did you ever know for sure if it was heaven or a UFO? It could be both the same people. Who knows? There's a lot of conspiracy and theories. And as I promised, tonight was a little bit longer, wasn't it? Episode 10, trying to make it 10 minutes. And I told you it would be longer in the future, and here I am, folks, not lying to you. I hope you enjoyed tonight's program, and I'm going to try to push it next time and figure out something to maybe do for 20 minutes or in the future. But this is Shades of the Late Night Audio Show saying, Good night. See you next time.